Good evening, humans. Transformers Moth here, and tonight we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Rockmano guitar, bass, and amplifier blind boxes from F Toys. Let's do this. So here is everything you get. Uh, I got one still in the plastic just because I want to take a closer look at that. But, you know, as you can see, you know, you get a decent assortment of guitars. You get a couple of basses, you get a couple of amps. Uh, and this is buying the whole box because that's what, uh, pardon me, Big Bad Toy Store had. So yeah, so that's what this is. And then when you take it out of the cardboard box, uh, the, the blind box, uh, which again, were these that I was going through, you get pull out this. Um, so you can see you get your instrument. There is a stand in many pieces. There is a strap. Uh, and for the strats here, uh, there is a whammy bar. Uh, so we'll, we'll actually open that up. Uh, also, you get assembly instructions, uh, which is very good, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and yeah, you just kind of open that up. You got all those pieces. I've been just been dumping them out <laughs> and throwing that to the side. Uh, and then we have our stand. So we have a base, we have the rod part of it. Uh, it is a shaped peg, so that just kind of clicks in. So the short leg is at the back. That just kind of slots in right there. You can see that square hole right there. That is where you get our rest. And that just kind of goes in like that. And there's your stand. Uh, then, you know, you have your guitar, and I probably lost the whammy bar by the way I left that out, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> uh, that was good. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, as you can see, you get your guitar, and uh, you know the, the clear acrylic is actually a good one to show, um, just because as you can see, you can just see the shape, no paint or anything like that. Really good sculpt. Uh, the strings are actual metal, which is excellent. Uh, obviously, they're all the same gauge, so they're not going to make any actual notation, um, but really well done. And you can see we got the the jack, we've got some volume and tone knobs, uh, we got pickup switch all of our pickups uh, we've even got in the head tuning pegs and all that good stuff so really 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 well designed and just really cool piece overall real pieces uh, so yeah the guitars are definitely nice um, the straps actually have a leather texture on one of the sides I don't know if it's gonna show up actually I think that's it oh there we go so you can see the leather texture there kind of be, being caught in my light you can see it's adjustable um, these are a little bit hard to get on, so I did this off screen for most of these. Um, but as you can see, really cool, really well done. Uh, and they all come with a pick. Uh, so this is the one for this one. So you pretty much have an equal assortment of these really large, generally bass picks, uh, and then the smaller standard guitar picks. Um, yeah, I'm kind of sad I lost that way before. <laughs> uh, personally, it's not usually a thing I use with my own playing, but uh, still. And then I actually guess give you a closer look. Here's the one that comes with the red and black one that I just wasn't able to put in there. So uh, yeah, really cool addition, really fantastic detail at this scale. So 112 instruments, really just excellently done. Uh, as you can see, you get various finishes and uh, yeah. And then we get a couple of amps and these are really well done. Um, really love the amount of textures they put on here. So you get that kind of faux leather sides. You even get the handles, which is awesome. Um, the mesh looks great on the front. In the red one, you have Thunder uh, Prestige 112M. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and these just rest on top of, of the other piece, just kind of like, you know, standard old school or like standard amplifiers. Nothing on the back. Uh, just kind of see what you get. But uh, Awesome. Looks, as you can see, it looks great just kind of sitting here. 
uh, our other one, silver and white. Uh, this one's even, it definitely catches the light really nicely. So really kind of cool looking. I kind of wish they had a black one uh, that they threw in here, but that is what it is. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to say about aesthetics. So I guess let's take a second. And uh, I'm sure you're kind of curious as to how these match up with various lines, uh, 112, and uh, probably actually will not work with 110th, but uh, we're gonna see. So uh, let's start doing some, uh, you know, size comparisons. So my final thoughts on the rock mono blind boxes for guitars, basses, and amplifiers is that, you know, this is super, super fun. And I absolutely recommend this. If you're looking for 112th scale uh, instruments, well, stringed instruments and amps, then absolutely this is definitely a good buy. Uh, obviously it works, uh, as, well, as you saw in the last section, works better with um, import one, like true 112 figures. Um, domestic 112s like stuff from Hasbro, it's a little iffy and certain figures will definitely work better than others, but uh, certainly worth picking up. And uh, you know, obviously if you just want to display some 112 guitars, this is a great way to get that. And uh, you know, I got this box, this entire box set off of Big Bad Toy Store. And uh, I think it was about 60 bucks and absolutely worth it. Uh, so yeah, if you are interested, I will have the link to that in the description below. So uh, definitely check that out. And uh, I want to thank you for watching and I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. Beyond that, if you want to take the next level, help me even more, which I truly, truly appreciate. Uh, there'll be ways to do that. Listen at the bottom of that description. So with all that being said, I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.